This is for the Bella's Bargains Back to School Challenge. Bella's Bargains is an all Dollar Tree channel where she does uh, Totally Easy Tuesday crafts, which is crafts for the non-crafter. Then there is Theme Thursdays where she has a theme. Foodie Friday and Shopping Hall Saturdays. And every now and then she'll throw in a Wild Card Wednesday. And for this craft, I'm doing a Horton Here's a Who theme, and I've got some paint, some pencils I'm going to use to make kind of a wreath type thing. Then there's an apple I'm using some, some letter stickers. This is a Horton Here's a Who. It's actually a pencil sharp. Sometimes Dave is quite the little micromanager. But for this, I'm going to be, I mixed up some paint. I used some of the white Acryology and then this washable paint from Dollar Tree to make more of a lavender color, which I'm going to paint the apple because this is a Susic project and I want it to look Susical. So I'm going to paint that except for the stem. That'll end up being a pink color. I'm going to use these Dollar Tree stickers that I got, and I'm going to put my granddaughter's name down the side. It's five letters, so I know it's going to fit. I have the Horton Here's a Who pencil sharpener out of the package, and now I'm going to attempt to liberate Horton from the pencil sharpener. It comes off in back. I, I had it off a second ago. It doesn't hold a whole lot, so if I did glue it to the back of something, it's going to be hard to deal with getting it out. So, I'm going to keep that separate. So, I'm going to think I'm going to try... Are these pair of scissors from Dollar Tree? It's starting to tear a little bit, so I went and got the X-Acto knife from Dollar Tree instead. Alright, there's some minor surgical damage in removing the back from Horton, but I think it'll be okay once I glue him down as far as you won't see the damage. I was originally going to do something like this, but I'm not liking how that looks. I think I'm going to put the apple on the back. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And this is my granddaughter's name on the front. It's a little bit blingy without going over the top. Now I'm going to use the super glue and I'm going to glue some of these Horton Here's a Who pencils around the back, and I may fill it in with some of these other pencils. I'm going to start with these, though. Yes, Dave, I'm going to recycle the cardboard. I'm just putting in the bag so I can put it in recycling, okay? The super glue didn't work. In reading the package more carefully, it is for non-porous surfaces. should work on wood, but this has like a plastic-type coating. I think it's too porous and this is very slick and it's just it just didn't stick I tried several times you know and holding it down and just didn't stick so using the hot glue gun I may go in later with something a little stronger but that's all I have from the dollar store I've got the six Dr. Seuss pencils on and it's looking a little sparse so I'm gonna go in with some more of those colored pencils and glue them down as well it might be a little bit extra, but then again, so is Grandma. I've got Horton glued on with the hot glue gun. I see a little bit here I'm going to have to try to clean up. Then I'm going to glue down the apple. I've got the other pencils on, not all of them, but this is going to be enough. If I had it to over again, I'd move Horton down, but he's glued down there pretty good, so he's going to stay where he's at. And on this, I'm going to glue this to the back, and this I put my granddaughter's name on the back, too. And this is just going to get glued down. This is the front of my finished craft.